Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, as we are going to discuss one interview question on threads. So, what is that? See how to find the current thread details. How to find the current thread details here? How to find the details of a current thread? The best example, sir, suppose if I create if I create a child thread, so easily I can access what is that means what get name functionality and as well as the get priority functionality. So, to find what is the name and what is the priority, but sir you said main is also a thread right in a class the class the any class name we can give and here it is so we are writing the main method and see here it is. So, with our discussions. So, main is also one thread and who will create JVM will create and start JVM will create and start. Sir, I want to know what is the priority of main thread and what is the name of main thread. So, I want to know how can we how can we find out see directly we cannot call get name method in a thread class get name and get priority two methods are there right to get what is the name of the thread and as well as it to get the priority of the thread. But sir, how to call on a main thread? Where is it main thread object? Main thread. So, that is why in a thread class, so there is one static method is called current thread method. Here it is in a thread class, a static method is there. How to access static methods? Using class name. So, here it is the method name is a current thread, current thread method is there. So, whenever we call a current thread as, as it is a static method we are calling on a thread class it will give the details of the current thread. So, return type is a thread class type return type is what thread class type. So, it will return. So, means what is a current thread information what is it current thread is a main thread and now it is very easy. So, if you want to print what is the name of the main thread it will print the name name of the main thread how to access thread object is ready the getter method get name the name of the thread it will return and next one is a priority priority of the main thread also we can print the t dot get priority is a method is there using the get name method and as well as using get priority method. So, we can find out so, what is the name of the main and, ex and as well as what is the priority as a name of the main and of course, output output it will give is a main only as a main thread name is a main only and what is the priority default priority of all the threads is a 5 only. So, here it is also give the 5 as usual ok. So, this is so what we called how to find the current thread information ok this current thread. So, means what you can access in any context. So, not only in a main right either in a child also. So, if you collect that means what if you call a current thread method. So, that will give the corresponding child thread information also right simply to get the information or to get the object address of the currently executing thread we are calling this method current thread which is a static method available in a thread class. So, thread dot current thread because static members generally we will access using class name only in Java. Okay. So, hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you. Thank you all.